Welcome to the Design in Knit 9 video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be going into original pattern drafting section of the program. And I want to talk about distributing points evenly and also equally spacing points. Slightly different concepts, but we'll do both. Thumbnails. And I'm going to open this shape here. This is a cardigan. What I would like is to make a button band for this with evenly spaced buttons. So we're going to do a little bit first information gathering. Measure the edge from here to here. And we're in centimeters. It's 42.1. Now we're going to say piece, new piece, and we have a choice of different shapes. I'm going to pick this one. I want to set the width of the piece 10 centimeters because I'm going to knit half and a turning row and then fold in and knit the inside half. So I'll end up with five centimeters, which is two inches. The height of the piece should be 42.1. And I'm going to call this button band. Centralize all the pieces. And let's use our right mouse button to bring it over here. And there's a dotted line that just says they're all lined up. Centralize just this piece and look, see, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we have our button band. We want to add in a point. We're going to add a point here and we're going to add a point here and turn off the add point. Because I have the mirror on, it has added a point here and also mirrored on the other side at the same time. What I would like is this point to be exactly two and a half centimeters up. And I want to do a couple things. First, I'm going to select them all. And I'm going to say measure, align the points. This is new in Design in Knit 9. I want them all aligned exactly ver vertically with this point number eight. And look at that, it evened them all out. Perfect. Now, I want to say measure the edge from here to here. And I also want to say measure the edge from here to here. And neither are two and a half centimeters yet. But I'm going to select this point, measured adjustment. I could use the vertical here and click on this point and I could move it up and down until it says two and a half centimeters on this measurement. But right now it says five and it needs to be two and a half. So I need to move it down minus 2.5, apply and look, it's right there. This one here, let's click on that. Now it's the active point. This one is 3.1 and I want it to be 2.5. So I need to move this up 0.6. And so let's say 0 0.6, apply, done. So that was easy. We're almost there. The next thing is, is we wanna go from here to here and add three more points for the other buttons. And that's this button here, equal parts. And you click on the line between the two points. And I'm going to say three points to add. And it's added them evenly between these two points. The last thing is to click on the marker and to put a marker on each button because when I'm knitting 
let's turn them back on. When I'm knitting, as I get up here, interactive knitting, it's going to give me a comment on that line to say set a marker. I can also measure the edge between each one of these points. Now, why did I do this? Because at the tension, let's go up under options and tensions, and let's say that we're working on it 32 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters, that's fine. But when I change here to stitches and rows, and let's turn off the point numbers, all of a sudden, I have here, mathematically, designing it has already calculated out for me exact placement. And I'm going to knit 10 rows, and there's my buttonhole. I'm going to knit another 37 rows, and do another button, another 37, etc. And if my option tensions change for my next garment to 28 and 32 designing it will automatically recalculate all the math for you how easy is that we can also say piece duplicate this piece and i'm going to call this button band 2 and it put it over here and it carried over the measured edges that we had on this piece and I'm going to say rotate this 90 degrees and now I have a button band that's horizontally ribbed and let's zoom into this piece let's add one more measured edge from here to here and now I know instantly that for this button band I'm going to cast on 118 stitches and I'm going to go from this edge and count over seven stitches there's my button count over another 26 next button etc and when the changes in tension for your next sweater happen, this will be automatically calculated for you. So these are nice little extra pieces to just have in your file to give you very fast information to help you knit. Let's select this piece now, and let's talk about one other way to put in points evenly. Let's say I don't want buttons all the way up. I only want buttons down about halfway. And I'm going to add in a button here. One, two, three, four buttons. And notice I wasn't agonizing to get these perfectly straight because I can do this. Turn on my point numbering measure align points and I want to align them with point 14 that's okay and there you go fast 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 I would like to measure between here and here and I'm in stitches and rows now let's switch back to centimeters I would like this to be four centimeters down so I'm going to select this point. I'm going to say Edit, Measured Adjustment. And I need to move it down another 0.6. And that's going to be negative because it's going down. And it's reminding me here that that's what's going to happen. Apply. And it's moved this point. So this point's perfect. I would like these other points to also be four and down, all the way down. 
And to do that, I'm just going to select these points, not point 14, but 13 down. And there's another new command in Design Unit 9 called Distribute Points Evenly. And I want to distribute them vertically. And I want to distribute them from, you could say, between the points. But I actually want to distribute it from point number 13 going down every 4 centimeters. And I'm going to say OK. And there you go. Let's turn off the measured edge so that you can see a little bit better. Turn the markers on and put markers here. Now you have evenly spaced points for buttons for this particular garment. A lot of times when I do a little baby garment, I only do a couple buttons on the top half of the sweater, but not all the way down to the waist. And so this is something I might do for a child's sweater. I'm going to say File, and I'm going to save this. And it will save everything. And if I open up my thumbnails, see here's my button bands that I've added to that particular garment. Thank you.